Today, uh, the president of the University of Nebraska, J.B. Milliken, and I are here to talk about education. As governor, two of my key priorities have been education and the economic vitality of this state. I want to ensure that every child receives a full AK-12 education, the opportunity to attend college at an affordable price, and then enter the Nebraska workforce with a quality job. The world is changing, as most of you are aware. Innovation is happening faster and faster. The amount of technical information is doubling every two years, and by 2010, it is predicted to double every 72 hours. To compete in a knowledge-based, technology-driven, 21st century free market economy, every high school student, every one of you, needs at least two years and preferably four years of college. Nebraska has one of the highest high school graduation rates in America, but our college going rate is barely above average. That needs to change. We can do better and you can be part of that. More importantly, this is about your future and your opportunity to be successful. Studies show college graduates enjoy a higher quality of life, better job, better health, more income, greater involvement in community activities. An educated workforce is good for Nebraska and good for America. It helps us attract companies that create higher paying jobs. President, President Milliken will go into greater detail, but there is more funding and more scholarships available than you might imagine. From the Susie Buffett scholarships to the university's newly expanded financial aid program called College Bound Nebraska, there are programs available to make college affordable for every single one of you. Now, in any group this size, there are a number of you who believe that this message isn't for you, but it is. Uh, whatever reasons you have, for thinking you can't go to college, I'm pretty much assure you I've heard them before. My grades aren't good enough, it costs too much, it's too far from my family, I need to get a job. It's true that those can all be barriers, but they're also all barriers that you can overcome, especially the barrier of cost. Today, we're here to talk to you about a program called College Bound Nebraska. College Bound Nebraska makes this simple promise. If you are a Nebraska resident who meets our admission requirements, and if you're eligible for a federal Pell Grant at any level, you can attend the University of Nebraska and pay no tuition. I'll say it again just so you remember, because that's the whole point of this trip. If you live in Nebraska, you meet our admissions requirements, you're eligible for a Pell Grant at any level, you will attend the University of Nebraska and pay no tuition. My biggest concern I had with college was looking at price. I remember when I, senior year, we got all those brochures in the mail, you know, look through it, the college looked pretty nice, but then you get it to the end, and it's like, ooh, 24,000 a year? And you know, you kind of toss it. That's, that's one reason why I really liked Carney and the other university systems, because they're pretty cheap price around, you know, somewhere between 10 to 15. But one thing you gotta remember while you're looking at trying to find a college, it's kind of like when you're trying to buy a car. There's that sticker price they have, and then you go in and talk to the dealer and get your actual price, which is more affordable. Same with college, because you can get all these scholarships and grants that make a more affordable price for you. There's plenty of scholarships out there for everyone to have taken. I know when I was here at senior high, the counselors here were very helpful in letting us all know about all the scholarships that were available to us and helped us anyway and try to help us receive them. Plus, there's plenty of grants out there for you, after you that you can be eligible for after you fill out your FAFSA. The President talked about uh, the Pell Grant, which is a great grant. I, I received that one as well. And gra uh, grants are great because uh, they usually last the whole time you're in school, and also you don't have to pay them back like you do with loans. So my point for everything I just said uh, is that if you think College is not for you because of your financial status. I just want you to know that 
money is out there and it's waiting for you to take it and there's plenty of people to help you receive it. The way of our life for our generation has changed. You can no longer afford not to continue your education and it is a goal worth, worth pursuing. When I look out across this room and in other high schools across Nebraska, all I see is potential. Each and every one of you has what it takes to go to college, to earn a degree, and to prepare for unlimited opportunities and a, and a better life for yourselves and for your families. The governor and I um, both went to high school in Nebraska uh, and are here today because people helped us. Uh, they helped us understand that we could go on to college and that we could do whatever it was that we wanted to do. Um, you will have that same help. Uh, you need to prepare yourselves, uh, and then you need to uh, investigate what help's available, but it is there. So uh, you can be, as the governor likes to say, you can be governor of the state of Nebraska. He also likes to say you can be president of the University of Nebraska. You could be a doctor, teacher, uh, lawyer, engineer, scientist, run your own business, whatever it is, that you want to do, there are people who will help you get there. Starting at Grand Island Senior High, the University of Nebraska, and our partners, the governor and my partners across the state who are uh, providing financial aid for students in Nebraska so that they have an opportunity to go to school in Nebraska and to be successful. Uh, we want all of you uh, to be college bound.